What's going on my friend? This is Melodic Kills. as always bringing you a lot of love, a lot of music, and all these things that we all like, right? This song today was requested by my good friend. I'm gonna put it right up here. Thank you so much. Shout out to you, my good friend. Thank you for suggesting this song by Greg Gable. I had a lot of fun learning it, and I had a lot, a lot of fun making this tutorial for you. Hey, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you stay updated. I do music, I do gaming, deal with it. Alrighty, here we go. Please remember that we do have more tutorials coming up, but I only do tutorials on the suggestions that you guys put down in the comments. So if you have a song that you want to learn, put it down in the comments so I can hook you up. Alrighty, my friend, let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing um, that I'm gonna say is that if you need help with major and minor chords with the bar chord, click on this card right here. It's gonna take you to that tutorial and then come back to this one. Alrighty, so the first thing for the actual song is that we're going to be on standard tuning and we're gonna start with the verse, which is going to be three chords, right? Your st standard tuning is going to be E, A, D, G, B, E. And your first chord is going to be an A minor. Now, the song, it's played in bar chords, but that doesn't stop you from playing it in the major and minor chords with the open shape. Your first chord is going to be an A minor. We're gonna go to fret number five. We're gonna use the bar from fret number six, uh, string number six all the way to string number one. Your second finger is gonna stay off and your third and fourth finger are going to be on the seventh fret on the fifth and the fourth string. Second chord is going to be a G major. We're gonna take this same shape right here, move it two frets back to the third and the fifth, but this time we're gonna add the third finger, or I'm sorry, the second finger to the third string on uh, fret number four. That's gonna be your second shape. And then your third shape is going to be this exact same shape, but we're gonna take it to the fifth fret and we're gonna start from string number five for a D minor and we're gonna go string five to first second finger on uh, string number two on fret number six, and then you're going to have third and fourth finger on strings number four and three on fret number seven. And you have your D minor, right? So let's recap the verse. It's only three chords, A minor, G major, D minor. Alrighty, the rhythm for the, ver for the verse is going to be a very standard reggae rhythm, right? So you're going to have the downbeat and the upbeat. The downbeat is going to be the count. The upbeat is in between the count. We're not gonna play anything on the downbeat. We're only going to strum the upbeat, okay? So when we're counting, we're counting eighth notes and they're going to go one and. And notice that I'm strumming when I go up. So when I say one or down, it's quiet. And when, we, when I go up, I'm going to plug the first three strings, okay? So I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so for the chorus, we're going to have the same three chords, but we're going to add one more to it, and it's going to be a C major. And like I said, you can open those chords and play them open positions, or you can, you know, stick to the song format, play, you know, power through those bar chords and master it, right? Push yourself to do something different, something better. Alrighty, so for the chorus, the first part is going to start with a C major, and you can do the C major with the bar chord, from uh, string number five through the first string um, on fret number three. And then you're going to have fingers two, three, and four on strings four, three, and two. And that's going to give you one fret apart, right, on fret number five. And that's going to give you the C major chord. Now, something that I do recommend is that if you're playing um, electric guitar, it's just that you use the, the power chord shape, right? You're still holding down the bar on the fourth, the third, and the second string, but you're only using two fingers rather than all fingers, right? And for this one, we're gonna open up the rhythm. We're gonna go down, 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 up. One more time. Down, 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 up. 
Well, now, the second chord after that, we're gonna move to a D minor, and we're gonna go down, down, up, to C, C. So for this one, just go down, down, up. And these are suggestions. If you listen to the song that, and you hear something different, go ahead. If you wanna make it more original and add your own strums to it, go ahead as well. Use this just as a bass to start off with, right? So you're starting on that C, you have the D. Your third chord is going to be an A minor. And the last chord is going to be a G. Now the G is not played in every round. So again, listen to the song so you hear the rounds where it stays two rounds on the A versus adding the G. I like to add the G to every single round because I think it sounds better, but that's just me, right? Listen to the song. You're gonna go. separated and did a little weird aperture there, but ignore that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's play at full speed, right? So we're gonna go. Alrighty, my friend, let's do a quick play along. I'm gonna do two rounds of each one of these parts, the verse and the chorus. Please make sure to use both the tab that I put in the description, um, and also I put the original song down there in the description for you guys as well, so that way you can use it to practice, and you can really listen to how many times you're going to play the verse rhythm, and how many times you're going to play the chorus uh, rhythm, and how you're gonna go back and forth between just those two, right? For part two, we're going to be doing the solo, and we're going to be doing all the other rhythms, including the bass as well. All right, here we go. Two rounds of each part. Verse first, chorus second. Three, four. Alrighty, you guys, again, this was Melodic Hills. Thank you so much for the support. This channel is all about learning, having fun, and staying entertained. So I do, like I said, I post a lot of gaming stuff. I post a lot of music stuff. So the suggestions are not just for one artist or one game. I play them all. Check out my channel. You're gonna see it in my videos that I pretty much post about anything, right? But with the focus of learning something new through gaming and through music. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna catch you on the next video. A lot of heels out.